Hi everyone. In today's discussion, uh, we'll try to understand about the graphics output uh, protocol. So what we can do? So we are, we can create one uh, simple uh, EF application uh, which will print the RGB colors, and then it will come back to uh, EF shell. Okay. So I will open the Visual Studio Code in uh, EDK2 folder. Okay. So yeah. So here we have this, right? So this is the protocol which we are going to use. So this is mainly to print uh, any content on the uh, screen. Okay. So now let's go back to our emulator package. Okay. So we have the application folder, and here let's create one uh, sample uh, EFI driver. Okay. So under the application, so I'm going to create a new folder called some suppose say uh, gop sample driver. Okay. And inside this, uh, we'll create one C file dot C, and then we'll create one inf file dot inf. Okay. So now inside this inf, right? So what we need for the UFI driver to work, right? So first, let's. Uh, it is going to have some uh, uh, license keyword so that you can add it. So let's create one uh, section header called the defines, right? Or let's uh, simply uh, copy paste from the existing one. Okay, so let's give our uh, name, which is a uh, gob sample driver, and let's have our unique uh, GUID. Insert GUID, and then the entry point is UFI main. Okay, so now it is going to have the sources. Sources is our C file, which is gob sample driver dot C. Okay. And then it is going to have the packages. So let's simply copy paste the existing one. Okay. So now it needs some bunch of uh, library classes. Let's see if we can leverage it. Here I have. I will copy paste or let's uh, copy paste the protocols as well. Okay. So we have the library classes. So we have the packages, which is emulator package, MD package, MD module package. And then we have the library classes, which is debug lib. So this netlib is not needed. So we are going to create the UFI application. So UFI application entry point is needed. And then you, uh, you are creating the UFI application, right? So UFI lib, we can have it. And then boot services, we don't need it. Runtime services, we don't need it. And these protocols, we are not going to use it. So I'm going to remove. So in our case, we, we are going to explore the graphics output protocol. So let's copy the GUID, which is this one, EFI graphics output protocol. Okay. So now let's come back to our C file. So let's include some bunch of uh, required header files like the EFI.h and then we will include the UFI lib. UFI library and then uh, we are going to install some uh, boot services. Let's for now let's try to copy paste the uh, required headers and then we will remove the one which are not needed for us. Okay, so netlib is not needed. Um, UFI services, runtime services is not needed. So this is the uh, required headers for us. So along with that, so let's uh, we need our graphics output protocol protocol graphics output dot h okay so now let's create our uh, um, uh, main uh, entry point right so if i go back to this uh, sample header we have the entry point which is vfi main right so let's for now i'm going to copy paste this to avoid this time okay so i will copy this and here i will paste this and for now, let's simply return uh, success. Okay. So now uh, let's see whether it is ca it can able to build it or not, right? So, but yeah, first what we will try to do. So we have to link this module in the DSC and the uh, FDF. So what I will do. So I will copy this path. First, we have to build it. So I will go to emulator package.dsc 
and uh, here we have this shell application right so maybe after this let's try to include our module okay now i will copy this path and now so as soon as we add this line so it is going to build it okay along with building so so uh, we, since we don't have any pen drive support in the emulator package we can directly include that uefi driver in the fdf itself okay so let's add it after the shell package okay so it's an inf and then we will provide the path okay so let's try to build it edk setup okay and then we will do build okay build is completed so we will go back to build folder emulator package debug x64 and here we can see we have our uh, gob sample driver this is what we have created so now let's run the win host let's boot to efi shell so let's run our uh, driver right so what is the name of our driver gob sample driver dot efi okay so now here we can see uh, our gop has loaded and it is successfully it has written okay so now let's add the functionalities to it okay so now uh, we need to locate the graphics output protocol right so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a static efi graphics output protocol okay and then let's create a pointer graphics output by default we will initialize it to null okay so now in our entry point let's try to locate that okay so efi underscore status which is status okay so now uh, let's uh, locate the protocol okay so status is equal to gbs locate protocol and then uh, we need to pass the address of that uh, protocol which we wanted to uh, locate okay so now if i go back to my nf file here i have i will copy this and now i will provide the graphics output protocol okay and then null and then uh, the written value right so where it has to be stored so it's a void star star and then again we will give the address of our protocol okay so now for now let's try to print the uh, status okay so debug debug underscore info um, gop status is equal to percentage r slash n and then let's print the status and if the status is not available so then what we can do we can return okay so if efi underscore um, error we will look for the status if there is any error in the status so then we will return from here okay and now this header file so efi service table lib uh, it is under library okay let's include this okay now that error gone okay so now what we did so we have located a protocol okay and then uh, if there is any uh, if that protocol is not installed so then we will simply return success okay or, well, or the status okay so now let's try to print some white color right so here what i'm going to do so efi graphics output uh, blt pixel okay so which color which you wanted to print so let's try to print some white color okay so now let's see right so what we have so we have the blue rgb color and then we have the uh, reserved okay so now for the white color it is 255 right so 255 255 255 and the result is zero okay so this is nothing but a white color okay first we will try to print the white color 
and then we will try to add the other colors as well okay so now here so since at this point we have the graphics output protocol okay graphics output protocol and then we will call the bleed functions okay so now what arguments it is needed okay so now this split functions need this operator okay so let's provide that this operator which is this graphics output protocol okay and then what's the second argument it needs the blt buffer so this blt buffer is nothing but our white color okay so let's provide that white color address of white okay and then what is the third argument <coughs> what is the operation which we wanted to perform okay so now we wanted to fill the entire data where the pixel is starts with 0 cross 0 okay so now we are writing the uh, blt pixels so here we are going to use the efi blt video field in the later videos we will try to understand about the video to blt buffer to video and then video to video okay so for now we will stick with video field okay so here i am going to have the video field okay and now uh, what is the next argument uh, it is needed? It needs the source and uh, source x and y, destination x and y. Okay, so now source and x and y and destination x and y, we, we wanted to fill uh, the entire screen, right? So let's try to give 0, 0, 0. We will start with 0, 0 and uh, uh, ends with uh, uh, source and destination, right? So this is where we are going to start with. Okay, and then we need to provide the height and width of the uh, screen okay and by default this uh, graphics output protocol has uh, the mode okay so here we have this mode this mode ultimately contains the information like the horizontal resolution and the vertical resolution which we needed okay so now let's what is the first argument which is needed for the blit call It needs the width okay so let's pass that width here graphics output protocol mode followed by info and then uh, we need to provide the horizontal resolution okay and then we need to provide the vertical resolution as well so what I will do I will copy from here then paste vertical resolution and what is the next argument which is this delta which is optional so let's not provide that okay or let's provide the delta as zero because this delta is not being used if i go back to this here for this one uh, let's see yeah so delta is not being uh, used okay so now with this uh, it, it can print uh, a white color on the screen okay so now let's try to build it okay so let's run our win host okay so i will go to uh, now we are in the uefi shell right so now let's run our driver gop sample driver dot efi now we can see we have a, a entire a, a black uh, sorry white screen right so now by default earlier it used to be a black screen now we have filled the white color so that's where this white color came okay so now let's try to print some different different colors like the rgb colors right so i will copy this so now first let's try to print the uh, red color okay so now this red color if i go back to this we have the blue green and the red okay so now let's see uh, red right so red 255 0 and then 0 okay and then let's try to give the other colors as well okay so maybe green and then blue okay uh, so here 0 and then 255 this will be 0 and then this will be 255 okay so now before we change the colors maybe we will try to add some uh, delay in between okay so I should include library 
timer lib dot h okay and then that same timer lib we need to include in the inf file under the library section okay so now here uh, we will after we fill the white color we will wait for uh, suppose say um, a two seconds okay so microsecond delay and then two seconds is two followed by six zeros okay so now i will copy this paste copy paste okay so now first let's fill the red color and then blue color and then uh, green color and then let's try to add the cpu dead loop so that it won't uh, return back to efi shell okay so now again i will build it okay so let's run our win host okay so clear the screen so now uh, gop sample driver dot efi okay we got the white color then uh, we, we got the blue and then red and then the green right so then uh, it stays on the green color because we have added the CPU dead loop here. Okay, so now what we did, so we have uh, uh, located the graphics output protocol and we have filled the screen with the white, red, blue and the uh, green color. Okay, so let's rerun again. I will run the win host and then I will clear the screen gop sample driver dot efi we got the white color we got the blue color we got the red color okay so blue color red color yeah probably this we might have in uh, uh, i might have interchanged it but yeah at least the point is we got the required colors which we wanted to print on the uh, screen okay so now this window is a bit uh, smaller maybe in the next video we will try to uh, uh, increase uh, uh, the size of this window uh, using the uh, set mode okay so that's it for today uh, thank you